Hello everyone, Alexis here. Thank you for joining me for our daily devotional and our morning prayer. Okay, so today we're going to be reading Psalms 91. A lot of y'all may be familiar with it. This is one of my favorite passages to read. Read it over your children. But we're just going to read Psalms 91 verse 1 and it says, Those who live in the shelter of the Most High will find rest in the shadow of the Almighty. Again, those who live in the shelter of the Most High will find rest in the shadow of the Almighty. Lord, we just thank you for this word. We thank you for Psalms 91. We thank you for the Old and New Testament, God, for we can make it applicable to our lives, God. We pray that this word does not fall on deaf ears, but it penetrates our hearts, our minds, and we are set free and delivered. In Jesus' name, amen. So today we're going to come from the topic, the Almighty's rest or God's rest, right? So, the Bible says that if we live in the shelter of the Most High, we will find rest, okay? Another version, which is the easy version, it says anyone who lives in the Almighty, lives in the Almighty God's safe place, the Most High God protects that person. So, if you live with God, literally you are protected by Him. He got you. So sometimes we find ourselves in a place of unrest, uneasiness. You used to be able to go to sleep with no problem. Now you got to take a time now p.m. And now you got to, you know, do all these other things to make yourself find rest. But God says, if you live with me, I'm going to automatically give you rest. I'm going to automatically protect you. I'm going to automatically give you things not to worry about. No matter if you have a thousand things going on, God said, I'll give you rest. So if we find ourselves not having rest, we got to ask ourselves, are we in the shelter the most high? Like, are we in God's safe place in his shelter? Meaning, are we letting him in our situation? Is he having rule, reign, and dominion over our lives? Sometimes those very things that are worrying us, just because... We have the capacity to handle it. Doesn't mean that we don't have to invite God into that place. God, I might see this bill, and it's a little bit more this month than it is any other month. But we'll be like, okay, yeah, let me just look and pay. But that's frustrating you. It's causing you unrest. That's something small, but we can let God in that place too. You know, we can say, you know what, God, I trust you. You know what, God, I'm in your safe place. You know what, God. Give me the resource. You know, we can let God into those places. Anything that is causing us unrest, whether it be your child's homework, whether it be your job or the different things that you have to do, whatever is finding you, whatever is wearing you, whatever is keeping you up at night, take it to God. Go into his safe place. Go down, like really center yourself in the Lord and let him into that place. Sometimes we want to clean ourselves up. And then come to God. But we got to come dirty. Come dirty and let God clean him. That's the purpose of God being God. So that's our thought for today. That's our prayer for today. Lord, we just thank you. Lord, we thank you. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you for new eyes, new understanding. God, we thank you for your rest. We thank you that you are sending rest to your people. That we won't need alcohol to do it. That we won't need Tylenol PM to do it. We won't need Benadryl to do it. And all these other things to do it, God. We will use you, God. We will rest in you. We will give you every place. We won't use the internet. We won't use our phones scrolling until we get tired. Lord, we won't use Netflix to put us to sleep, God, but we will rest in you, God. We want the sweet, sweet, sweet rest that lasts, God, that covers a multitude, Lord. We let you into every place, every burden, everything that we've been carrying, every load, God, and we give it up to you because you always provide. You always come through. You never, ever, ever, ever fail. And God, if the thing that we've been praying for is not how we want it to be. And it doesn't come out how we think it should. God, give us the strength to endure. Because you will give us always the strength to do a hard thing. Just like you gave Noah the strength to build an ark. You gave Moses the strength to deliver a people. You gave everybody in the Bible strength to keep going and not quit. Give us this same strength on today. Enlarge us, strengthen us, make us wise. In the mighty name of Jesus, we give you all the praise, the glory, and the honor. It is so. Amen, amen, amen. Y'all go forth. Be great. Like this video.
subscribe to my channel. And as always, let's go and God. I'll see y'all Monday. Bye.